Hi Queens and welcome back to the Queen's Guide. Uh, it feels so weird to say that because it's been a minute since I have sat down and actually recorded. I have pre-recorded videos that are going to be out to you guys really really soon. But I just thought I'd get this one in and just let you guys know my thoughts immediately. As you can see from the title, I'll be doing the Fenty Beauty Makeup Review. I'm specifically focusing only on two products mostly just one to be honest which is the foundation I really really want to know how this wears and I also got the uh, Fenty Beauty lip gloss I believe this is the only lip gloss there it's, called, it's actually called the gloss balm uh -huh. actually the names sound really cool I know a lot of companies um, are universal international companies internationally known brands and they still don't cater for people of our skin tone it's only recently that a lot of people have started to put in that work Rihanna knew what she was doing she came out with 40 shades almost 10 black girl friendly shades and I feel this is such a huge huge accomplishment can we just give her a hand real quick let's just give her a hand okay because girl that's not easy and yeah we just want to thank you Rihanna because we needed this no we, we we really needed this and whoever did the online kind of web design and everything like that did a really really good job it actually shows you pictures of who might be your skin tone rather than seeing shades for me visually that helps a lot getting to see somebody of my complexion I kind of knew what I was looking for and that's how I managed to shade match myself without actually going to the store but I just went ahead and took the risk and purchased it because listen I did not want to stand in lines at Sephora it's a tiny bit hard to get an exact match but I did know myself so let's hope that what I chose is gonna work at the end of the day I'll be back and I'll be letting you guys know did it work with my skin specifically um, the pros the cons I mean it's amazing that it's a brand by Rihanna and it's so you know diverse but at the same time we have to put the fact that she's so amazing aside although she's a queen we, just, we know it we know she's a queen come on now but we have to put the fact that she's such an amazing queen um, such an amazing musician aside and actually tell you guys about the brand for what it is so I'm just gonna get right into the makeup I think I think I've said a lot I think so I'm gonna go in as I usually do with my primer Just going to actually I don't think I want to use a corrector for this but I do know that the foundation is light coverage so I need to cover a few things so just take it out the box pressure the box so looking at it um, in the bottle it's actually a bit deceiving because I like most foundations um, but this is specifically made with like kind of a frosted uh, packaging so it's hard to tell what the actual color looks like and but I feel like it's my I feel confident I swatched it um, when it came on my hand and it looks like my my shade it looks like my shade so this is the moment of truth guys um let me just say this i love the packaging um very sleek but very um minimalistic and i feel that's all you need on a bottle you said i'm big on branding and packaging and i really really like packages that look really simple yet so cool like the font and the end on the fenty this is the fenty beauty pro filter foundation and got the foundation uh, in the shade 440. It says it says here that it's a soft matte and it's long wearing. So, but this is a Sigma F80 brush, and it never fails me with most of the foundations that I use. Just gonna try about two pumps. <laughs> it looks like my shade. That's why I'm excited. Oh yeah, this is me. 
440 come through 440 come through 440 is coming through guys okay 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 baby baby <laughs> listen I see what it's doing I do I'm not mad I do what I noticed when I put it on my hand the other time is that even right now it sets really really quickly so as soon as you put it on it's basically setting wow that is my shade no I'm happy I'm already happy listen <laughs> I'm already excited because this looks like my shade one like my exact shade like my whole body shade and it's looking pretty smooth. I guess that's what it meant by soft. Like the soft map. Maybe. I'm making things up now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm doing one of the things that I usually struggle to match is uh, my forehead so I'm gonna try and match it to my forehead because it actually looks a tad bit darker than most foundations that I usually get not dark per se I would say more orangey um, but it's my exact shade look at that look look at that look at that this is the real test because I don't I don't usually use most foundations on my forehead because my forehead is darker and it's very, very obvious. The only foundation I've ever used on my forehead or I ever use is the L'Oreal, um, what is that? Look at me, brand new girl because, ha, huh, brand new girl because I've tried Rihanna and I don't even know the L'Oreal name. <laughs> it's the L'Oreal Infallible, it's the L'Oreal Infallible. But this is matching with my forehead. Hmm. 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 I didn't want to just immediately like it because it's Rihanna and because everyone says it's great because sometimes it's not great for individuals. Like it can be great for everyone but for you it might just, you know, go left. But I'm liking it. I really am. Huh. I, you know that Snapchat filter? I look like a filter. <laughs> like even, it, like listen, on this camera I look like a filter. In real life, I look like a filter. I am trying to be as honest as possible, as objective as possible. And I, I can't find a problem with this foundation right now. I'll give you my on the spot opinion of this foundation. Um, and then I'll, what I'm going to do is later on I'll be back to let you guys know how it held up. That will be my final sum up review. Right? Because foundations look nice immediately you put them on. But you know with a bit of variation, you know a bit of change. Things do happen with foundation things. Oh, I'm feeling myself. Can you see how I'm talking like how I'm talking like a queen baby? Because I'm the queen baby. To be honest with you, I feel like this is medium to full coverage because it did do me right and cover the things that I need to cover and then it left the things that I feel I don't really want to cover. You know what I mean? Get me? Got me good. The shade. The shade match. The shade the the shade match. I don't like foundations that change your skin tone like to something more you know something it's not so I'm, I'm happy that this is coming true it's coming all the way through and it's showing my actual complexion which I love I feel very pretty in this it makes you feel very pretty with kind of like yourself and how you look in a sense like I don't know it has a very dewy kind of look but at the same time it's it's more glowy than dewy because I hate dewy foundations because they, they seem oily to me but I'm getting more glow I'm getting more you know queen-esque I'm getting more you know vibes Rihanna sis Rihanna sis listen listen you did your thing I haven't even tried all your 
products but you did your thing with this foundation I'm just gonna keep it very simple do a very simple look just so I don't mess with the foundation and mess with the current formula of the foundation let me put my the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back All right, I'm guys. literally basically done kind of done Okay, so I just had to glow because I don't have trophy wipes and it's hurting my heart. So I just had to, you know, pop on some glow. I did use the, um, what did I use? I used Artist Couture for that. I'm going to grab the Gloss Bomb by Fenty Beauty. It's in the shade Fenty Glow. <laughs> Trust me to drop, um the lip product on the first time that I'm actually using it. Trust me to do that. Trust me. Oh damn. This is in commemoration of uh, Trophy Wife. It looks like so. Just a very, very cute packaging. Once again, a very, very simple um, decision to make that packaging with the FB for Fenty Beauty. So tiny but it's um cute it's thick it's tiny but it's thick and it's kind of like an octagon one two three four five yeah i think that's an octagon right <laughs> guys i feel like i need to go back to second grade honestly because i don't know what that is okay i'm gonna go in oh it's thick it's mad thick like the applicator is mad thick i like that it looks like it can fit one lip one hmm Something I know. Um, it reminds me of something like my childhood, or oh, it smells good. It smells so good. I'm about to pack this all the way on, cause who doesn't like a glossy look? I feel like I went in. It's super duper thick and like rich. I like that. I hate glosses you use them and then it's just like off in the next few. I feel like this is going to stay on for quite a while. Mm, that smells good. Mm, it smells so good guys. So points for that. Is it a must have? No. But is it a like binge buy for a makeup addict? Yes, I would say yes. Okay, I feel like I should turn my wig. Mm, that's better. Too much info or not? The reason I made it, mmm, it tastes good too, guys. Um, I usually like my products to taste good too, just in case it goes in my mouth. I don't want to be like, uh, but it tastes really, really nice. But yeah, this is the full face done. I'll give you guys updates uh, in about how many hours should I give it? I want to give it like a good amount of hours, like the amount of hours that you'd be wearing foundation for, which I think usually is like seven to eight hours, but some people five, some people, you know, it varies, but I think personally I wear foundation for about seven hours. That's like the max. Like I'm parched. Parched. <laughs> really had me parched, bro. Mm. Like I've got so much to say that I even had to <clears throat> I even got parched. Stay tuned for the final 
uh, review which I will be doing later on when I let the foundation sit for a few hours I'll let you guys know how it where it wore through the day so I'm just about to leave home I'm going to test out this makeup as I promised you I'm probably just gonna go to the store I actually want to do something physical so that you know the makeup has time to do its thing Ooh, check that glow though but yeah okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna leave home right now hi queens um, I am back and it is 8 24 in the evening let me come a little closer closer so you guys can have a nice view of that so basically I put the makeup on about 3 p.m. it's been in total um, about four hours well actually it's 8 25 so about five hours five hours and 25 minutes to be exact and um, this is what the makeup is currently looking like um, I feel like it's done a great job at staying very matte although in my t-zones you can kind of see the oil that's coming to life um, I get very oily around the t-zone area but that's nothing that a quick touch-up won't fix um, it's not extreme eh this is really 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 good hold it still looks fresh some foundations tend to oxidize and by the time you're coming back at the end of the day you look like you're wearing the wrong foundation it feels very light right now I, it feels like I'm wearing something but it doesn't feel very heavy like I don't feel it on me right now um, and yeah and mind you mind you listen to this till now I've been wearing the same exact lip gloss it still looks popping it is still popping so I give them a thumbs up for the price I give them a thumbs up for even the lip gloss it's, it's about $18 which I feel is not that bad for a Sephora brand well for a Rihanna brand let's be real um, I was expecting it to be more um, yeah all in all thumbs up Ruri, you did your thing. Thumbs up to the Fenty Beauty brand. I'll be looking forward to seeing more from you guys. And um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. I'll be giving you an all around kind of detailed explanation um, pertaining to the foundation um, because I know it's really hard looking for really good foundations. I would recommend this foundation definitely would recommend I hope you guys really enjoy this video because it has been my honest and true opinion on the products individual uh, brand reviews are really really fun and I really really enjoyed making this one for you guys alright guys thank you so much and of course as I say in every video don't forget to be the queen And then we have a